Welcome, welcome everyone to the yoga station. When you enter through the doors every day here at the station, this is the first thing that you will see. I'm joined by Thomas. He's the co-owner here at uh, the yoga station with his wife, Tamara. Tell me a little bit about the drawings yeah. on the ground. This is uh, what is called Rangoli in, uh, in India. It is uh, placed in the front of, uh, of uh, most ho households' doors. Mm -hmm. um, it is to uh, uh, invite guests um, to set a, a mood of, uh, of beauty as you come in. Yeah. And, uh, and also um, protect the, the dwelling. So this is why Tamara does this every morning. <laughs> and this is something that in. households in India will practice. And now, now you spent quite a large amount of time overseas. What were you doing exactly? Um, for the most part, uh, practicing yoga, teaching yoga, uh, mm -hmm. collecting uh, art with regards to yoga, mm -hmm. um, uh, running a restaurant um, in Mysore, India. Because you're quite a good cook as well, right? Uh, cordon Bleu trained chef. Mm -hmm. How about that? How about that? <laughs> and uh, so tell us a little bit about some of the well, artwork that we're looking at and why it was important to you to implement this artwork inside the, the studio. Uh, the, the artwork comes from India. Mm -hmm. um, it is done by uh, you know, top painters in India. Mm -hmm. It has everything to do with yoga. This is the night of Buddha's enlightenment. Mm -hmm. um, and part of the reason why we wanted to, uh, to have it here is because uh, it is done with a specific purpose of inducing a specific feel mm -hmm. in the people that view it. So the colors used, um, the, the, uh, the arrangement of, of the figures on paintings, it has everything to do with uh, instilling in the viewer a mm -hmm. feeling of serenity and peace, mm -hmm. but also to convey and picture um, yogic concepts. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we take a peek inside the actual studio, you'll see that it too is lined with um, more artwork from India, and I understand. Did you were you saying that you are the largest private collection of Indian artwork in so all of Canada? So I've been told. So I've been told. South Indian art. So I've been told that this is the largest collection of South Indian art in Canada. Here in Carlton Place. Amazing. Who knew? Unbelievable. Who knew? And now I find the story behind this particular piece quite intriguing. Do you mind retelling it to our so viewers? this is this is really this is a really special thing because. Um, uh, this is an antique painting from, uh, from around Mysore, from the Karnataka province of, uh, of India. Mm -hmm. And it specifically shows, if you look, uh, people practicing yoga uh, over 250 years ago in India. Mm -hmm. So this is a continuation of, uh, of what they were doing a long time ago in India, right now in Carlton Place. Yoga is, uh, is an ancient, um, ancient thing and uh, it will be around long after you and I are Gone. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll actually take a look at some different uh, yoga moves with your wife Tamara. Yeah. And uh, she's going to try and show me a thing or two, and we'll walk you through the different classes that they offer here at the yoga station. But in the meantime, head to their website and check out all of the information. But we've got lots more coming up from the yoga station. Just a shot in the dark that you just might.